Okay, hola. Um, I want to give some advice about how to, well, how I learned Spanish very quickly. I'm going to link in the, in the description, well, in this video, a video of me speaking Spanish before to prove to you that my Spanish was literally horrible. And I've been here for one year and it's improved so much so quickly. And honestly, in the last maybe four months, I really haven't improved. It's It was um, maybe since the eighth month mark, was I've been the same since about eight months. So yeah, but anyways. Um, so when I first arrived here, I was an au pair, and the family spoke English because I didn't speak any Spanish, barely, but I was living in this little town and they didn't speak any English, it was nothing. Like if I had to go to the bank or the post office, I had to speak Spanish. Horrible Spanish, but I had to speak it, which really helped me because it got that initial vergüenza, like embarrassment and shame of speaking out the way because if I di couldn't speak, if I didn't speak, I couldn't get a bank account, I couldn't... Yeah, you know, I couldn't send things home from the mailbox, so that was really good. And then after that, um, I really tried not to meet with um, other Americans. I tried to have as few American friends as possible, even though my little group of American friends are my probably my best, best friends here. But I did try. I mean, it's kind of impossible. If you don't speak any Spanish to not be friends with any English speaker, it's really impossible because you can't have a real relationship with somebody that you can't even ask them how their day is because you speak literally nothing but anyways um but this year when i spoke more spanish i said okay i'm not gonna meet with any new american friends like i've had my group of friends but i'm not gonna speak with any americans and then when i when i before i learned spanish well when i was learning i was listening to podcasts in Spanish, I was listening to songs, lots and lots of music, but music really doesn't help you that much for me, it didn't help me that much, but I was watching a lot of series, um, in, in American series in Spanish, and also Spanish series. Um, I was doing a lot of intercambios, there's this thing called uh, intercambio de idiomas, which is like a language exchange, or I think in British English tandems, and then you go to a bar, and you just find people that want to practice a language. Obviously, in my case, they want to practice English and make Spanish. So, and you just talk and talk and talk. And it's in a bar, so it's really chill. You get a drink, you meet people, you go out after. It's really fun. I love it. I, I went every single day. I went Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe not Friday. Friday and Saturday is hard to find, but then Sunday, Sunday through Thursday, I would go every single day to intercambios. And sometimes multiple intercambios. Um, every time I met a Spanish person, well, the second year, I would only speak Spanish with them. Even if they were pushing me to speak English, I still was very, very aggressive. Not aggressive, but I was very stubborn because if not, Spanish people like that want to learn English are very aggressive and they will kind of walk all over you if they want to learn English. So you have to put your foot down and be like, no, no, I'm in Spain to learn Spanish. We're speaking Spanish. And if I know, if, when I know you, we can change to English sometimes. But if not, I don't know you. We're speaking Spanish. And that's how I was in the beginning. Um, I was reading in Spanish. I had I got a membership at the library and I was renting books. I was also writing every day and doing exercises. I would go online, find exercises online, print them out, do them, and then have somebody at my school check them, like my coworkers. Easy things, not like pages and pages and pages of work, but like, oh, did I use the sentence correctly? Um, yeah, writing every day. I was writing every single day. I had a journal, uh, just random things about my day, what things like, whatever, a journal. Every day I was writing. Um, also, I was going to lots of meetups, which is something, if you don't know what meetup is, it's a really good website where you can meet people with the same interests as you. So I would go to meetups that have the same interests as me, like vegan meetups or yoga or language, just something. I would just meet other Spanish people. And then there, you're not pressured to speak in English because you're just there for the class or whatever. I was also taking classes. I took like a cooking class and that was really, really good. I went to the gym and all that's in Spanish. Also, this is a really kind of a weird way to learn Spanish, but I also had an account in Tinder and I would go on dates, but obviously in Spanish. So even if the date was horrible, um, I would still be like, oh, okay, well, at least I just got two hours of Spanish practice, like, <laughs> which is like horrible, but I mean to say that, but I mean, come on, really. Um, it, it is a good way to practice Spanish. I mean, if you have a Spanish boyfriend, you're gonna improve like that like so quickly so or girlfriend so yeah I definitely took advantage of tinder and got like met people 
and spoke Spanish. Um, yeah, I mean, every waking moment that I was alive, I would just do some type of vocabulary practice. I had Duolingo. I had every single Spanish learning application I had on my phone. And then even online, there's a really good website called vertal.com. And when Share Talk was a thing, I was on Share Talk, but now it's not a thing, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. I was actually kind of a crazy person because sometimes I would just go to the street and just ask some random person for direction to some random place I already knew just to speak just to speak like seriously I would literally go to the street and be like donde esta el parque retiro and just to hear and just to speak and literally I literally would do that and or I would go into a restaurant or some or like a bar and be like oh puedo ir al baño I don't know just all just just trying to speak because if not you just like, I know so many people, I know too many people that come to Spain, only meet Americans, English speakers, and they leave after four years of living here and don't speak literally a word of Spanish. Well, okay, maybe a few things. And I just feel like it's such a lost opportunity, like a missed opportunity. And I mean, I was pretty much fluent doing these things in about seven months. Like... I still, since I haven't studied in a conventional way, like I never actually took classes in a, you know, in a classroom setting, I still obviously have problems conjugating and things like that because I learned in the street. I speak, like I speak very, how do you say that? Like, uh, de la calle, like street, like, how do you say that? I don't know. Uh, well, no, I don't, I don't speak book Spanish, I suppose. I speak very in the street, I guess. Very colloquial, you could say. Yeah, so... Voy a hablar un poco de español para saber que hablo español después de un año y que tengo mi acento... Bueno, tengo mi deje de hablar todavía en inglés. Bueno, me encargo, pero no se puede hablar. Y cada día estoy intentando quitar mi acento, pero creo que es imposible completamente. Porque siempre digo, oh, oh, like, a veces hay, hay días que estoy, ah, oh, muy bien, hablo muy bien, qué bien, sin acento, la gente, ah, oh, eres americana, ¿De, que, de qué parte eres, like, jodín, pensaba que, que ha quitado mi acento, pero es muy, es muy difícil, y bueno, pues nada, so, yeah, uh, that's it, that's how I learned Spanish, and I recommend, I swear to you, if you follow these same tips that I did, and get Spanish friends, if you can't get a boyfriend, get a Spanish friend, friends, and you will literally be fluent if you're dedicated in seven, eight months. And trust me, I had like, I didn't have much practice before that. So yeah, good luck guys. Bye.